Hi, my name is Vlad and I work at Sentry. In this lightning talk, we look at how we can avoid the git blank game with Sentry and suspect commits. Before I start the demo, I'd like to take you to our documentation site first, so you can learn how to set up your project to enable this capability. So go to docs.sentry.io guides, follow with the front end tutorial link. And on the left hand side, you'll see a series of steps that take you from creating a brand new project to adopting the Sentry SDK, capturing your first error, learning to use source maps, and finally integrating with a source repository, in our case, GitHub, to enable capabilities like suspect commits. My goal in this lightning talk is to persuade you enough and perhaps maybe even make you curious enough to try out this functionality so that you can make the most out of your experience with Sentry. So let's get started. Imagine you and your friends started an online hardware store, perhaps to serve your local neighborhood. Let's test it out. You just released. I want to get a few nails, a hammer, and think about the weekend projects. So we ran into an error. What happens right now is that Sentry SDK captured this error and send it to the service to process it. You as a developer receive a notification taking you to the Sentry dashboard where you can get more information about the error. So let's drill into it. All right, so we can learn from here that we have we are trying to execute a function that doesn't exist. It's in application.js line 102. So the next thing that I would like to learn is discover which commit introduced this code. So I go to suspect commits. And my approach is always to inspect the newest commits and work backwards. So here the newest commit happened four hours ago. So let's inspect that. All right, so there, there you have it. So I know that this commit is what introduced the errors that are affecting our customers. So the next thing for us right now is to assign this issue to the person who created this commit because they are the best at following up right now. All right, so done, we can move on. Um, so let's step back for a second. Let's see what just happened, right? We released our set wave of customers ran into an issue. We got notified and while being in the browser with a few clicks, we were able to identify which commit caused the problems that our customers are running into. And through that, discover which engineer is best equipped to solve this issue, right? So because of suspect commits, our time to resolution is significantly decreased. Now, obviously you can drop into a shell and you can reuse the command line and whatnot, right? But here you can provide this functionality while staying in a browser experience. And this is very, very, very powerful. We at Sentry are certainly using this feature and we are hoping that you get to learn more about it. And uh, yeah, try it out. Tell us what you think. Thank you so much.